Hey everybody, my dad, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode 2. Last time we had the meeting with the principal, it went amazing, and I'm guessing now we're supposed to go and talk with Joyce and David, and I'm guessing that will go amazing too, so let's get moving, yes? Let's look at this announcement. Max would have loved this shit. Blackwell Academy, the future needs excellence. Because of a generous grant from the Prescott Foundation, yeah, Blackwell will be offering several new courses next fall designed to nurture the artistic gifts of its students. Visual concepts, intro to composition, intro to ceramics, intermediate Photoshop, intro to character modeling and animation, photography, independent study by invitation only, special thanks to Caroline Prescott. Okay, we get it, the Prescotts have money and they sometimes use it for the school, but only because they want to seem like less of douchebags, I guess. So, yeah, that's that. So, who is this? Ooh, pothole. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. I don't think they will. Elliot. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. You are right. Was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! Yes. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Exactly. Do you want a hug? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, Elliot. But don't get your hopes up, yes? Thanks. Was Rachel Amber involved? Oh, kinda. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? Yes, but only because... Yeah. Yeah, Chloe helped with that. Anyway, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. Thought I should come early to grab tickets. Yeah, but it's because it's gonna be full. Yeah. See it together. Ah, right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Yeah, I did get the text, but uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds, sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on. Damn. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. I'm not so sure about that, so... Later. Dude, I know you have the hots for her, but she doesn't have the hots for you, so... Yeah, maybe... That's for someone else. My other vehicle is drama. Vehicle is drama. <laughs> Once again, we finally agree on something, Chloe. That's good. So, what else can we check out? Wells' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Yeah, I would say so. And whose car might that be? Holden C. I don't know who that is. It doesn't tell me anything, so... Should I be on the lookout for anything else? His head much? Yeah. Deadbeat now. babies, peace head, peace head. It's cheese. Bone kick, ghouls and girls, sneaky donk. <laughs> Beeline, Fister, oh my, Satan's baby mamas. Okay, that's nice. Katniss, oh, okay. Tempest no Party, Vortex Club, activities. okay. No more curricular activities either. Okay, but you wouldn't want to go to the Vortex Club. Cigarette butts, most of these are yours, yes? But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. All right, let's go face the music. It's about damn time. David, please. Yeah, David, please. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. About what, may I ask? I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat. Yeah, I mean... I just need you're just her mother's boyfriend. You are not even her legal guardian. She's my mother, yes. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. Exactly. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. 
Maybe You've got the point there. Try listening to me. Instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Well, the second one is useful. Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers... No, dude, come on. That's harsh. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? It's a respectable job. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Come on, she's just like 15 or 16. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. You've got the point there, Joyce. I'm with you on this one. Joyce, very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the... Forgive her, dude. Bad choice of words there. If you improve your attitude going forward. Again. Bad choice of words. What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. What? But with an apology, I'm willing when did that happen? to start over. I mean, okay, I'm not fully paying attention, but they were fixing the car. And yes, he said some stuff, but it wasn't really insulting. Then they had the right was oh yes, we had the back talk thingy with him. Okay, okay, sure. Just for Joyce though. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Well, he has a point. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. Okay, dude, but you're not the police, eh? Fuck. If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom. Do I have a choice here? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry. But David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Okay, but this is not the way. Ooh, this is a serious choice. Mm-hmm. I mean, we did get that... Uh... No, did we get that? Her secret stash? Okay, I'm gonna go with the odd way here because I'm guessing most people decided to refuse that and yeah, it's more possible that you have seen that already. I'm going to comply. Fine. You wanna see my shit so badly? Okay, cigarettes. I mean, you shouldn't smoke, but... Uh, that's not helping your situation. You know it sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy. Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Okay, I forgive you. Let's forgive you. try and you were under a talk about this situation. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. No, 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 no. <coughs> you don't care, David. That's enough out of you, David. <coughs> we need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Ooh. What does that mean? They're getting married. Both agree 
that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Nope. No. no fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Are you ready to hear it? I know I fucked up. You're trying. I get it. Ooh. Um... Let's go with uh, you're trying, I get it. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that. That's not exactly true. Choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Okay, just a few moments ago I said that... Uh, when David said that Joy shouldn't apologize to her, that's wrong. Actually, uh, giving a good example is that when you're wrong, even if you are the authority, you have to apologize. That's just my opinion, though. Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. That's not trying, Chloe. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Yeah, yeah, let the uh, nasty teenager just... She found this track in a junkyard. I'm guessing she fixed it up or something. Uh, did all the needed repairs and all that. And then she just took it and she drove around with it. Is that legal in the States? Because in Europe I can assure you that's very illegal to do. But I don't think she cares about laws. So, yeah. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. Well, for sure, we're gonna need the battery. If ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Maybe your dad's car, but in a junker, a new battery, I'm not sure. So, get battery put in track. All right, let's read the messages. All right, I think we're here. Chloe David is trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, but you allowed it to happen. 
and then you're completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. Yeah, Chloe, exactly. She needs you. Oi, oi. All right, let's look around the junkyard. Magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. Yeah, if you find a working battery in a junkyard, it will be magic. Trust me. Also, I'm guessing uh, you need to fix the cooling system. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, there's a lot of thrust here, too. Let's see what you can do. Hmm, I think I'm all smashed out. For now. Obviously for now, because, yeah, you're gonna go back to your smashy self later. Can we climb here? Hmm. <laughs> no, you cannot. Cigarettes. Uh, let's go with the politically correct way and say yeah that yes, it's the cigarettes that don't allow you to climb up there. What do we have here? Fire poker. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. I'm not gonna comment on that. Radio, turn on. No, let's not turn it on because I have enough copyright notifications as it is. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Okay. And posters. A whole box of posters. No, this is a Vortex Club I wouldn't mind joining. Communism, Atheism, Free Love, Outcast United, Motley Ball, Blackwell Academy Class. Be whoever you are, as we eat, drink, and merrily say fuck you to Reagan and his oppressive capitalist resume. Resume, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, Christmas lights. Yeah, put those on the track. I don't have a place where even Christmas looks depressing. I don't know, I find Christmas to be depressing due to the commercialism mainly, but let's not get too this rug has some political. Okay, you don't need the rug though. And glass shards. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. That's what actually true. That's true for. Okay. And that's car. What can we do with it? Let's look no, at it. Not going over there. Okay, maybe the battery is still working though. Maybe take that. And toy robot. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. I don't think robots will waste their time trying to enslave humanity. We're not worth it. Ooh, shoebox. Is it a good idea to open it? Apparently, yes. Okay, we've got a bobblehead. Ooh, mannequin head. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. That's because you have feelings for her, school bus. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so... awesome. Now that's... I think I would like to see. Instead of fixing the track, fix the fucking school bus and ride around town with that. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? Yeah, maybe they just threw out the sign. Don't want to leave yet. Okay. Ooh, a beach towel. You're a long way from the beach. Yeah, I wouldn't even get close to that, let alone touch it. So, ooh, this looks like something that would have a battery. So, what do we have back here? Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Warning. This vehicle has been seized and impounded in execution of a warrant order. This vehicle is detained and impounded in accordance with the authority provided by Rule 42 of the Oregon Magistrates Court Rules in pursuance of Section 2. One of the Narcotics Damage Act of 1985. It is an offense to, without lawful excuse, destroy, damage, or tamper with his property. Okay. What are you trying to hide under their hood? We need to find something to open it. Oh, we need to press a button. Or pull the latch.
and a weirdly new battery is available. Here we go, the pick of the litter. And how lucky, you put that in your pocket? Chloe, I'm beginning to be worried about you. And uh, yeah, good looks like it's the same time of, type of uh, battery. Who am I to judge? Oh, wow. If you tell me it's working right away, I'm... I don't know what I'm gonna do. And of course the keys are in there. You're gonna hotwire it? That's a whole lot of bullshit. Oh, I don't know, maybe with older cars. Maybe gas? This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Oh my. We have a new message from Rachel. Okay, I think we begin here. Chloe Price, I don't suck. You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Do you know if I can stand going home tonight? Still there? Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Also bring some gas and some tools, because we need to fix a car or something. Nothing else here, so... Turn shit, let's look at that. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Yes. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Yeah, and uh, Rust tends to spread, so maybe you should do something about this whole area right there. Let's place the singing man here. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes, okay? Good. I don't think he will mind. Okay, what else do we have? I am guessing we have to find... Yeah, some stuff to put here. Okay, let's look at this broken bulb. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. So we need something to cover the seat, something to cover the hole on the floor, and a bulb. Let's go find those. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Okay, that's car, maybe? No. I can't. Fantastic. Pallet. Prop up. And now you can climb up the boat. Let's do it. Oh, the fire is still going on. Yeah, this thing here, that thing that you see is the consequence of your actions. So, graffiti. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Buried treasure. Got it. That's it. Okay, fantastic. Oh, just a map. Uh, cabin. We can climb up in there. Anything else before we go in there? No, we just can climb down. Okay.
Now you're gonna sit there and ponder while watching the wildfire spreading. Let's hear it, Chloe. I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. I'm not sure about either of these things. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. No, wildfires are not beautiful. Trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. That's a good message there. Yeah, even the tiniest spark can cause a fire so big. Pretty. No, no, not at all, Chloe. Come on. All right, I'm thinking this is a good place to call it a part and I'm gonna do so. We're gonna look for that stuff we need to fix the car in the next one and yeah, possibly have something else happen as well. At any rate, I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.